I appreciate you all for gathering together so quickly. As we all know, Popsy has left classy fashions to me. Pearl, please. The thing is, classy fashions is in a little bit of a financial difficulty. Do I have everyone's attention? Well? Are we fired? No, Wong. Then, geez, why the sourpuss? Well, it's because this is not an easy thing for me to say. Is it the F word? No. Because of financial difficulty, I've had to sell part of the company to the wine stock group. Now, I've insisted that I maintain creative control. I've also arranged that you will all keep your jobs. Well, it took a bit of a fight. Yeah, come on, people. Give the kids some credit. You done good, kid. You, you done, done good, good kid. Right. Thank you. Meeting adjourned. Well, that seemed to go well. So that's it then? Business as usual? Business as usual. Kitty, I did some research on the wine stock group. They seem very reputable. They own two movie houses, a apartment complex in Rosedale, and Coco's, my favorite restaurant. Oh, good. So they're just buying the place? I mean, they're not even going to be here? Apparently, a representative will come and check on us. So it'll be fine? Of course it'll be fine. Kitty? Of course it will. I don't know. I don't know if I've done the right thing. I think that chicken was funky. It was fine. I'm paranoid about those things. It was awfully pink. It was cooked. Oh, you're fine. You're fine because your fortune cookie didn't simply say beware. Mine did. Do they think that's funny in the fortune cookie factory? Angela, I'm having a bit of a crisis here. I know. Look, Kitty. Of course you did the right thing in selling. What choice did you have? None. And the wine stock group were the perfect candidates. I mean, everybody else wanted to buy the building and knock it down. Or just kick everybody out. Exactly. And besides, you still own 48%. They only own 47 so technically you are still the boss. Right. Uh, there's an old room 222 on tonight. Remember Bernie, the guy with the huge afro? I thought he was hot. That huge red afro. God, I miss those days. Kitty? Uh-huh. Brighten up. It's all gonna be okay. I know. I'm fine. And it is my promise to all of you that I will vow to make classy fashions as big a success as it can possibly be. The wine stock group only invests in winners. And we're gonna win. And that means teamwork. And I know that this is the team to do it. Martin Weinstock, ladies and gentlemen. I like him. Kiss ass. Our representative from the wine stock group. Any questions? Yeah, are you gonna be hanging around here all the time? Oh, no, no. I'm sorry, your name again? Bernie's. No, Bernie, uh, I'm not going to be an albatross. <laughs> you don't have to uh, set out another coffee mug for me. I have an office in my father's building, the, the Weinstock building over on Young Street. My gynecologist is in that building. You see? Already we're clicking. There are no small coincidences, only a, a feather stroke of fate. Are my eyes bugging out? I feel that they are. I'm sure you'd like to all join me in saying welcome aboard. One, two, three. Welcome a... Oh, come on, people. Thank you. We're gonna jam. I don't like the guy. Bernice, you don't even know him. Do you like him? I don't think that's really the point. I know it. Is there something I can do for you? 
He wants to see our productivity reports. Or what? Well, I told him we don't have them. And he also moved the coffee machine. And now he's grilling Wong about what exactly his job entails. He tried grilling Pearl, but she flipped him the bird. And I call clients and tell them when their accounts are due. I, I answer phones. I, I get lunch. Oh, and where does the money for lunch come from? Usually petty cash. I see. Well, it's really just Bernice's burgers that add up. Excuse me, Martin. Can I speak with you for a minute? What exactly are you doing? Oh, I'm uh, working on a productivity analysis. I will not have you interrogating my workers. Our workers, Ms. Reeves. Mr. Weinstock, I own 48% of this company. You own 47. That does not make us equal partners. Close, but not quite. Um, Ms. Reeves, the Weinstock group owns 51% of Classy Fashions. The 47 we bought from you, in addition to the 4% we bought from Ms. Brown. I beg your pardon? Uh, Kitty, I made reservations at Vegata Bistro. I hope to see you there at 1.30 so we can continue our discussion. I'm sorry, I didn't know you sold them that much. Bernice, what were you thinking? I was thinking I wanted a big screen TV. Great. And also I was thinking I could have a little extra cash so I wouldn't have to worry about money for once. My father gave you those shares as a gesture of love. He gave me 5% of a company in the red. It was the thought. Well, I kept 1%. They own 51%. That makes that weasel our boss. Read the writing on the wall. Or watch it on your big screen TV, you red-haired Judas. I'm sorry. What can I say? You could start with sorry. I did start with it. Salty. Well, you know, when I was in France, I found all the food to be quite salty. The French love their sel et poivre, but c'est la vie. Kitty, if we're going to be partners, I think it's important that you know a thing or two about me. Sure. My family is very successful. Uh, my father is very successful. Uh, both of my grandparents on both sides have been very successful. By the time my brother was 13, he had paid his way through college by delivering newspapers, selling Christmas cards, opening a lemonade stand, selling pine cones. That sounds lucrative. Well, it was. And that's what was expected. I, on the other hand, resisted the world of the entrepreneur. In college, I was a pottery major. Does, does that surprise you? No. So, I understand creativity. Pottery didn't work out for me. I ended up having to sell my kiln and uh, come to work for my father. That's an interesting story. Martin, I've been thinking about how this partnership should run. In terms of the upcoming season, I can show you the designs and my marketing ideas. Also, my list of buyers. Your input is welcome on everything but the designs. Of course. That was the deal. Now, let's talk bottom line. Broad strokes. I know I have what it takes to make this company successful. Well, just because we're in debt doesn't mean we weren't successful. And I think the first thing we have to do is cut costs. Uh-huh. And the place to start is in personnel. Really? Yes. Uh, after careful evaluation, I've realized that someone has got to go. And it's either Bernie or Virginia. There's no way. Kitty Cat, they do a lot of the same jobs. Martin, I'm telling you, there's no way. I will show my report to my father, and I know he'd spot the same thing I did. My father was a potter. My father's father. My father's father's mother. You must eliminate your mother or Bernice. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kitty. How was 
lunch. Fine. Did you get the guy out of our hair? Bernice, please. What'd he say? If I had something to report to you, I would. Excuse me. Unbelievable. This child. Am I overreacting? Am I invisible? You're oh. down. Gotcha. I took a fall. <laughs> Did you guys hear a word I said? Of course. So? Tim? I think you should sell. I sold. That was last week's crisis. Oops. I have to choose between firing my mother or firing Bernice. I think you should fire your mother. What woman wouldn't want that thrill? She can't fire her mother. Okay, then fire the other one. Bernice? Bernice worked with the company 18 years. Right. So what should I do? Well, Kitty, I don't really have any experience with this sort of thing. Substitute teachers don't fire anybody. And despite my experience in being fired, I'm no expert either. Kitty, we're idiots. We can't help you. Are we communicating telepathically, or is my butt getting sore for nothing? I'm sorry. It's just that... It's... This is not an easy thing for me to say. Are you okay? You're not sick, are you? Oh, my God, it isn't that einstein Barr virus. No, nothing like that. It seems... We have to make some changes around here in order to lower our costs. And one of the changes I've been instructed to implement is that... Okay. One of you has to go. Do you want to talk to us one at a time? No, Mom. Martin has concluded that there's no need for both of your jobs, so one of you has to be let go. Well, it ain't me. Well, it ain't me either. Isn't it? No. Um. I don't know. Well, I'm not going to sit here and convince you, Kitty. The stinking job isn't worth it. I won't grovel. I will. No. I won't. I won't. Well, you let me know what you decide, Kitty. I'll respect your decision-making process, Kitty. And I know you'll choose the right thing. After all, Bernice has been with the company for 18 years. Although, nothing really compares to the 18 hours of labor it took to bring you into this world. I know you'll choose wisely. Time for Canada's favorite game show. Who gets the boot? And here's your host, Martin Weinstock. Hi there. I'm Martin Weinstock, and I'll be your host for Canada's favorite game show, Who Gets the Boot? Thank you. Now, let's say a special hello to my co host with 48%, Kitty Reeves. <laughs> All right. Now, Bernice, mm. Virginia, are you ready for skill testing challenges and spine tingling excitement? Uh, mm -hmm. And begin. Enter those bones. Hello, Classy Fashions. Fashions. May I help you? And 
file. Oh. Okay, ladies, pay those bills. <laughs> Let's take a moment and prepare for the sudden death round. And go. Go. Oh. Buzzers. Okay, Kitty, who gets the boot? <laughs> well, I'm going to have to say it. Uh, what brings you by? I need to talk to you. Very good. Uh, Kelly, any messages? No. Uh, Kelly, this is Kitty Reeves, the co-owner of Classy Fashions, my new endeavor. Hi. I have some of your clothes. I got them in Queen Street. They're great. Thanks. Uh, Kelly, uh, did you type up that letter I asked you to? It's very important. Almost. I just have one question. Did you want dear grandma or dear grandpa? Shall we? Well, what can I do you for? If you want to let go of Bernice or Virginia, you're going to have to lose me, too. Kitty, sit down. No, thank you. Fine. Look, I'm not going to lecture you on the business world, but I'm also not going to be the bad guy on this. Good. You are an equal partner in this business. And this business has been on the verge of bankruptcy. We both know that. Yes, we do. And I want to make it fly. So do I. I've done some thinking. I think we could conserve in other areas. I could take a cut in pay. You don't want to do that? I will. Kitty, we both know the reality of this situation. But bottom line, hard decisions have to be made. Look, fine. Uh, don't fire one of them. Uh, cut costs. Use cheaper materials. That would hurt the quality. Well, something's got to give. Sometimes I hate being the businesswoman. <sighs> Me too. We're artists, not brokers. We're lovers, not fighters. What's going on? No idea. I thought you wanted us all together. That's what Jenny said. I simply said uh, we should meet in the work area. I didn't specify why. Look, I'm not liking this. If you have a decision to announce, you can at least do it confidentially. Wait a minute. I didn't call this meeting. What's going on in this place? Mr. Avery never called this many meetings. Well, Mr. Avery isn't around anymore. I'm running this place now. So who gets the boot? Can we just calm down here? Kitty didn't call this meeting. I did. Mother, I'm the meeting caller in this place. I didn't think you'd mind. Why, to glow? Is that it? I'm gone? Good. I'm glad. I'm free. Free, 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 free. I'm relieved I'm the one that's going. You're not going anywhere. I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I called this meeting to announce that I'm leaving Classy Fashions. What? Can we go now? Yes. What is this? Sweetheart, I'm a firm believer in the phrase, crisis awakens. And when I thought I was going to lose my job, 
That was a crisis. Do you two want to be alone for this? No, Bernice, stay, please. I started thinking that maybe my time here is up. Now that Daddy's gone, things aren't the same. This is your place, Kitty. This is what you do. And it's what Bernice does. But it's never been what I do. I want to find out what it is I do. I want to go out there and make it on my own. Away from being Fred Avery's daughter or Stan Reeves' wife or Kitty Reeves' mother. It's exciting. Are you sure this is what you really want to do? Positive. Well, that's great, Mom. It's a surprise, but I'm getting used to those. I'll miss you around here. I'll still be your mother. Well, uh, we'll miss you around here. I'll still be your friend. Don't do that. 